what I'm interested in is demystifying why I'm intrigued by a creator or, or the work of a creator. And so, you know, I'll invite people who work in oil or acrylic or I'll invite filmmakers. Though filmmakers, when they're successful, are pretty insulated, so they're harder to get. But I invite a lot of writers because I love, I mean, if you can't see, but I basically live in a library. Um, and YouTubers are, you know, when I find a channel, I'm like, oh, this is entertaining. I want to know why this is entertaining. Why do I keep clicking on these videos? I want to know about this person and what their process is and what their thoughts are, what they're thinking about for their channel in the future. And because there's a lot of content on YouTube, most of it I don't give a shit about. So when I do give a shit, when I show even just a little bit of interest, uh, I want to know why. I want to demystify that. You used the word, did you use the word demystifying in your thing? It might have been the other guy. But demystification is the key to this podcast. Right. At least for me. That's really cool. Yeah. I would also like to know if you figure out why people watch my videos. I think that you're, you're honestly, you're accessible. You what seem is- like somebody <laughs> that, that pretty much anybody could be a friend, you know? You seem like a friend and (laughs) it's just like you're sitting down, you know, like, honestly, I wish this video was still up. I hope you figure out how to put it up somewhere else. Here's about, here's this, here's this, I'm I'm really sick. So it's going to be short. Here's a a story about a demon that I dated in (laughs) high school. uh, And it's just like, oh, I need to make this girl a cup of tea. Uh, and there's just something about that where I'm like, I got to invite this person. This this person is really funny. And then also you're just kind of sitting down and, and, you're, and you're, talk, you're, you're eating a mug cake while talking about, you know, bad bathroom design. And it's uh-huh. just like, yeah, I've kind of thought about this stuff, but I've never thought to make a, a vlog about it. Um, I don't know. I, I think that's it. It's, it's sort of like, why is Tom Hanks watched? Because he's he could be your friend or, you know, something like that. I think that's the key. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It comes through. Um, at least that's my, that's my uh, presumption. I, maybe you'll figure something else out when you start, if you decide to start going into your data. Hmm. Maybe you'll yeah. discover something. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I, my main like audience, I guess, I don't, I don't know if I even want to call them my audience. It's just like people who've been following me for years from Tumblr, which I made when I was like 14, 15, maybe. So like those are the people who no matter what I make, like completely different topics are still like watching and commenting. And it's really nice to have them. I think that's the main reason I'm still like just making whatever I want and not trying to follow the algorithm because I'm like "Eh, like three people are gonna care so (laughs) do you have um do you see that there are recurring fans that comment on like every video or every couple of videos yeah and I I do recognize people's names and um pictures and uh I would consider one of my like patreon subscribers a friend at this point her name is grace and she makes videos as well actually they're really really good um they're about different games i think usually she i feel like she's kind of making whatever she wants as well um but she again she's been following me on tumblr for i don't know how long and yeah (laughs) i feel like she's she's other than my like real life friends, she's probably the main supporter I have on my channel. Thanks, Grace. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. Uh, I'll have to look for a channel. Um, oh, I'll send you the link. Yeah, it's really yeah, yeah. good. I, uh, I'm interested, and I, I also appreciate the fact that another YouTuber is supporting a YouTuber. It's mm-hmm. there's a often in the arts there's there's just too much competitiveness and everybody's threatened by another person's success but the truth is your success doesn't mean the failure of another and vice versa oh yeah appreciate anybody who recognizes that